All right, so the fight is underway. We will see how it plays out. It's a pick em fight according to Las Vegas, and really hard to think of a weakness that we have seen on film from either guys in their UFC careers. I feel like both of these guys are the top of the food chain. They're the best of the best that we can put inside the octagon. They are so well-rounded. They have every skill, and that is going to be on display tonight in this key matchup. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. They're certainly getting after it early. Oh, and he gets tagged. Nice combination there, and might not be a bad idea for the opposition to just tweak that head off yeah. the center. He was landing one before. Now he's throwing everything in combination, and they're all landing. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Dillashaw. All right, close guard now. You gotta be careful, though. He's got a lot of submissions off his back. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Good work from the top here by Dillashaw. Three minutes remain in the round. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground, and that's very important. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom, and if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes on your opponent. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. I need you to scramble. Scramble. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Dillashaw. 90 seconds and counting here in our opening round. These are unofficial, but 61 total strikes have now landed for TJ Dillashaw. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. All right, fighting out of the clinch here, and not for long. Nice trip to get the take there. Yeah, sometimes, John, you have a guy that is just so versatile that they can do these takedowns in so many ways. He's going to start looking to try to attack a rear naked choke, and that's exactly what he's doing. He is doing a really good job of relaxing, not panicking because he's getting choked. Yeah, notice he just took the body triangle, readjust the lock, and now it looks like he's got it. There's the tap right before the gun! Oh! Woo! Oh my goodness, what a fight. Yeah, you've got to admire the focus and the commitment to getting the finish. You could tell he was in hot pursuit of that submission much earlier in the round, but he didn't want to rush it, so he sets it up beautifully, lets it materialize almost organically, and ultimately gets the desired result. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. Just watch how slowly he approaches the submission, though. He never rushes. He takes his time, but it's his trickiness. It's his ability to trick people into going to the floor with him that puts them in danger in finishing fights. So there he is, your winner by submission. That is a finish they will likely be talking about for some time.